What is good, YouTube? And we are back, guys, once again with another video. Today, we're going to be reacting to... So, this is Mikey Williams' new team. I'm going to make sure to leave the original video down in the description below. Y'all can go check that out. And who I, I don't remember who it was. Let me see. Let me see if I can see it real quick. Matt, be great. Shout out to him. He originally made this video. I'm just reacting to it because that's what I do. But, yeah, I saw it. And Loki, I Loki know who Mikey is, not like... I don't even know why or how I know who he is because I, I don't really, like, pay attention to basketball like that. But for some reason, I knew who he was, and it just popped up in my recommended, and I was like, you know what, hold on. Let's make a reaction video to this. Why not? Because this is some interesting news as y'all going to see when we play this video. But, yeah, let's get right into it. Williams has officially transferred from San Isidro to another school. This literally just happened yesterday and it's still currently trending. It goes without being s- Alright, so if y'all didn't hear what he said, pretty much Mikey Williams has transferred to a different school from his original school. And let me fill y'all in real quick for some of y'all who may not know, but I doubt that. But he's pretty much like an all-star, a superstar, all-star basketball player, high school. I think he's in high school, yeah, high school hooper. So He's a pretty good hooper, just like how Zion Williams was a good hooper, and he's been talked about pretty much. So, this is shocking because he switched schools, and y'all just got to keep watching. I ain't going to ruin it. We're going to watch it. I low-key kind of know about it. That's why I know this information, but let's keep watching. Said This is big news, but everyone had the same question. Who is this school, and just how good are they? Mikey, Mikey, Mikey. He's been a hot topic in basketball for a while now, and he's going to continue to be for the next couple of years. Although things at his old high school- The dude is cold, but look at this. Look at this. He about to dunk on- Look. Look at the defender, bro. He's like, you know what? Just go ahead and take it, bro. I'm not- It's not even worth me trying to guard you. I ain't finna get myself embarrassed. Like, just watch this. Not, I'm not even trying to be like on his, like- I'm not even trying to be like a fan or like try to be on his side or something. I'm just saying the dude is good. He's good were pretty good for him and he was a star player he decided that wasn't enough so he's decided to make this move but we're not here to talk about i didn't go lie that defender look miserable as heck bro he's just he's like bro why do we have to play them bro like why just why but let's about see. that, we're here to talk about the team he's going to and who are they and just how good they are so if you're new to the channel and you like stuff like this what are you doing hit that subscribe button join the family and leave a like for more Go ahead and click that subscribe button, y'all. He said it before me. Go ahead and click that subscribe button. Leave a like on his video if you like it. Go check out his video. The description is going to be, not the description, the link's going to be in the description below. But yeah. Oh, and without further ado, let's dive straight into it. First thing is first, the school we just transferred to goes by the name of no other than Lake Norman Christian. This school is located in Charlotte, North Carolina, so I know what some of y'all are thinking. Why in the world? North Carolina. Yeah, you're right. That is what we're thinking. North Carolina. World is he going all the way from California to North Carolina? If you don't know by now, I'm sure you do, but there's some people that might not. He's originally from there and played his basketball there before. So it's not as crazy as it sounds. It's not like he threw a dart at a random. Alright, Bo is from there. Bo is from there. As y'all can hear, he's from there. Which is crazy, because then how did you end up in California? Like, I mean, he just moved probably because people move all the time. That's his business, but yeah a map and that's where he's going so we're all on the same page we understand that mikey's going to a school in north carolina but here's where things get a little interesting no one's heard of the school and this is kind of more odd and stranger than you think normally when big time recruits and i'm talking major big time like top 15 or top 20 i was just about to say the same thing they don't go to trash schools who do y'all know who's good they go to a terrible school like that transfers to a terrible school but if you think about it but if you think about it, really, if you a star and you a star on your team and then you go to a terrible school, you going to be beyond a star, bro. What's after a star? We got, uh, you're going to be a whole galaxy or something, bro, kid. <laughs> you guys get what I'm saying. All those big prep schools like Sierra Canyon, Montbird Academy in Florida, and there's so many oh. more. We're used to that, and that makes more sense because they prepare you for the next level. Where things get interesting with this, though, is that he's not going to one of those schools. I didn't even think about it until just now, but it's kind of odd that he... I ain't gonna count. Them, them, them stands was dry as hell, bro. If y'all seen that, it was like five people, just only five, but probably got nothing to do with this. 
he decided to go to a very small school in North Carolina. I understand he's from there and that's a very legit reason, but you know, conspiracy theory Matt in the building, hey, he may be getting some money, you never know. We've already made a video talk. Like for real, like think about it. He probably could be getting paid for that. You go into a terrible school, you really gonna raise their popularity and publicity by going there. So what if he is getting paid? And if he is, how much? Comment down below how much y'all think he getting paid, if he getting paid. Talking about Mikey's financial status, how he's randomly just got all this money out of nowhere. So if you haven't seen that, go check it out. I'm not saying they're paying him, but I just find it really strange that he's going to this school in North Carolina. No one's heard of this school. There's no clout there for him, and there's not too many benefits for Mikey. On the flip side, on the it's other hand, if a tiny school like this gets Mikey Williams, can you think of all the publicity they're going to get? There's just so many. Here we go. They're going to go crazy. It's going to be CNN, Fox News. Nah, Captain, they don't even show nothing. I don't even think they be showing stuff like that, but it's gonna be like the local news. People gonna be going crazy over there. For show. Sure. Benefits for this high school, and I just don't see him for Mikey. And as always, let me know what you guys think down below. Are they throwing him some money on the side or not? Anyways, let's continue on. We got slightly sidetracked. When all this stuff was announced, I was curious, so I did my research on this team. And I was expecting them to be. And yeah, make sure I go subscribe to Matt, bro. He did his research. Like, he did his research. I'm just here reacting to this good life. But let's see what his research came up with. Be like an 18 and 15 overall team, but boy right. was I wrong. They had an overall record last year of 31 and 2. 31 and 2. That's outstanding. Man, that I don't know stunks. how good the competition was, but you got to give credit where credit is due. And there's not too much more to say about that. They had a good competition. Do play a part though, cause if you're a trash school and you're playing even trasher schools, I don't know if that's a word, but that's how I'm coming. Trasher schools, you obviously gonna catch dubs. But 31 out of 2, that's crazy season but i was curious what do these guys look like are they six seven giants or what's going on and man oh man there's been a picture trending all over twitter of this team and everyone's been clowning them the picture i'm showing you right now on the screen hold on just look at these guys bro that's what look at these first four people bro oh my god they look like baseball players like not even they look like they literally went to a classroom and said you 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 come with me just put them on the team. That's literally how they look. I ain't even gonna be like mean or whatever. That's how I see it. But you know what? We can't even clown them. Like some people, they be going crazy on the court. Like for real. Y'all ever got your ankles broken? Not me though. Cause you know, I'm too cold. Too cold. Is Lake Norman Christian? And this is a legit picture, bro. I don't even gotta say oh anything. My gosh, me and you really? both know this is not a third. <laughs> look at the coach. Oh my god, bro. He's like. <clears throat> I can't even, bro, hat, bro, chill, 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 look at number 12, bro, that's their point guard for sure, that's their point guard for sure, for sure. 31 and 2 overall team. Weak. Just look at my man on the right. What are you wearing, dude? He's wearing pants. All right, I'm not gonna roast these guys right, too so much. Look, Let's get serious. I played basketball in A grade, I think, and my pants, they did not go, like, they used to give us these big, like, Pants like they used to give us pants, bro. They be reaching all the way to our ankles and stuff. So we had to roll them. We had to roll them like six, seven times, and the refs would be like, "Unroll your pants, unroll your pants." But that is that is that is beyond me, bro. That is beyond me. This again, that's a legit picture of the team. You can see it on the jerseys. But here's the thing: that's not the team from the previous season. That picture's from 2000. That's not the team. They're not the ones that went 31 and two, because that is. That, based off of looks, that is impossible. That is literally impossible. I'm just going to be a thousand. 2016, so roughly four to five years ago. Everyone watching this, we can all agree. These guys do not look like hoopers, and they honestly look trash. But just look at the picture. They actually won the championship. I don't know. You said they look trash, bro. <laughs> what league they were playing in but it seems like this is a winning program and they've been winning for a while now and another thing too you can't tell how tall these players are or how good they are actually by a pitcher the guys in the back look really tall and i can almost guarantee you they can shoot the three and i have to state this basketball is the only sport in the world where a player can look garbage and trash and go out there and give you buckets you guys know what i'm talking about everyone watching this has met someone in their life they thought could not hoop at all shoot or do anything and just shock them i don't get it i don't understand who was that I be late on this, like, hooping stuff. I really don't even know who nobody is, but I don't know who that was for sure. 
understand it, but that's just how basketball is, and that's the beauty of the game. You can't judge a book by its cover. I know I was joking on them, but I was just trolling, and you can joke on them too in the comment section, but at the end of the day, they uh. won the championship, man. Now, with all that being said, I know what you're sitting there wondering. Yo, Matt, what does the current team look like? I think I looked for roughly one to two hours, and I couldn't find a single picture, but they went 31 and two. That's legit, so you already know they're pretty good. And now you're going to add the number three overall player in the country to a 31 and two overall team? This is going to be crazy. Who's number one? Who's number two? That's what I want to know. I might have to figure that out. Crazy. So to answer the question, who is this team and just how good are they? We still don't really know the answers exactly, but just going by off of their record and what they've done in previous seasons, they look pretty solid. I do think Mikey is at the caliber to be good enough to put him on any team in America and somehow still win 10 to 15 games. You can say what you want, but he's a great basketball player and he's a scorer. He's good That's enough to take is. over and win games by himself with average teammates. That's and now he's about to team up with some really good players and I already know they're going to have some three-point shooters on this team. And I know Mikey's been doing in his research i know he wouldn't go to a school that he felt like would not benefit or help him but just going back to the conspiracy theory it's also strange that he's going to this small school but hey man let me know what y'all think about that i don't really want to get into all that conspiracy uh, theory type of stuff that's pretty much it like you said let him know let me know what y'all think about it i just seen this and i was like this let's just react to it because you know and i low-key did get a lot of information from this useful in some situations not really because I got nothing to do with me. We just got to see what happens with this dude, Mikey. But it's all for the video. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. Hit the like button if you like the video. But yeah, that's it. I'm out of here. Peace.